I'm back at the Tobacco River Dam. You can see it over my shoulder here. I think there's been quite a bit of progress since I was here last. I think they got some concrete pours done. But first off, before I get this video started, I want to thank my new patrons, Greg, Paul, and Joshua, and for people sending me letters through the mail. So thank you, Todd and Carolyn. If you want to send me anything, I will pop my PO box up on the screen right now. Also, huge thanks to Jeffrey for sending me these sunglasses. He was the only one that took me up on the offer. Kind of cool, these are actually made out of recycled skateboard decks. I looked into them a little bit, they're called Himakable. And they actually plant trees for every sunglass pair that's sold. So they kind of got a cool mission statement. If anyone else wants to send me anything uh, through the mail, any more sunglasses, uh, you have my P.O. box. And let me know in the comments down below if you prefer these ones that Jeffrey sent me or my white framed ones. Whatever you guys prefer is the ones that I'll continue wearing. But we are back from our honeymoon now. Just got back, I think, last week. So it's been two, three weeks since I've been out here on site uh, filming updates. And if you want to see our videos from our honeymoon, make sure you go over to my other channel, The Mowbray Family. It's linked in the description down below. Might be a little while before I start editing and getting those video posted from our honeymoon, but we are also starting to build our house right now. So those videos will also be posted over there. I'm going to be filming just as in-depth updates as I do here at the dams. Really excited to start that adventure of our life though. Our builder is Mark Hammond from Forever Built Homes. Great to work with. He was able to design our dream home and Justin Finney from Finney Trucking is going to be our excavation company. He's out of Sanford, so you know, supporting those local businesses. Let me turn the camera around now though, and we'll actually head up this way and take a little bit closer look as to what's happening here on the Tobacco River Dam. We're now up here, nice and close behind the Tobacco River Dam, and we can see a few of those pours that are already done. I think he said they have five pours done right now. The sixth one will be done tomorrow, and they're just starting to set the seventh down here. So their plan is to pour pretty much every other day. They want to do two pours a week. But yeah, looking great. Kind of see a little bit of that concrete, how it's set up here, and this form, the bulkhead that they have in place up here. We'll head up this way in a little while, right behind the back side of the coffer dam, get a little bit closer look. But while I'm down here, we'll take a look over the side of this coffer dam real quick. And then up here towards spillway number two, still have four stop logs in place that's keeping the water from going over the top of this weir spillway. All this water is coming from down here. You can see the pumps. That water is leaking underneath the coffer dam slightly. So they're just going ahead and pumping that out of here so that they can keep the job site nice and dry. And then spillway number three still has the water flowing through the center of it. So as soon as they're done with the work behind me uh, on spillway one, pouring this new retaining wall, then work will be transferred over here to spillway three. They're gonna go ahead, uh, break away the rest of the spillway, and then they can go ahead and pour a brand new retaining wall all up that side. Someone did comment and ask in the uh, questions down below, the comments down below, if these were going to be reported, these center uh, supports, no. The head is the answer is no. These will not be reported. You can see they do have some bracing in between. They are going to remain. They're not going to be tore down like over on Edenville Dam. Um, but these do not need to be reported. Is the simple question. They're just reporting the west and the east side retaining walls. Right now, they do have scaffolding up here. Right now. Uh, that is just going to be to pour and seal off. You can see it easier here, uh, that hole right there. That's where that, that's where that catwalk used to come across between here. So they're gonna go ahead, pour those, fill that back in with concrete so that during the winter time, those don't ice up and freeze. So kind of see a little bit more of the work here. Again, this is pour number six, you can see. Now let's head up here and take a look at pour number seven that's going to be taking place. Back here, directly behind the coffer dam now, you can see pour number seven up here at the top. They're working on uh, tying in some rebar right next to that right now. Come over here around the corner, give you guys a shot over top of the coffer dam again real quick. 
See water level is still about the same, hasn't changed much. And right here is the end of those pores. So they're not gonna go any further out here. You're actually able to see uh, this, probably be able to see them pour number seven up here from the live camera that's just out this direction. So make sure you're checking the live cameras to see a real time view of what's happening here on the site. And yeah, here's a close up view of the new 18 inch retaining wall. Up here taking a little bit closer look at the retaining wall. You can see these patches that they have in here. Uh, this is actually where those bolts were that were holding the bulkheads in place. They went ahead, pulled those out, and then went ahead and filled that in with concrete. So that's what those are. Other than that, the retaining wall is all nice and smooth. I'm going to jump into some of the aerial drone footage now. Uh, the drone is flying and facing towards the north. So you can see in front of the dam there is the Tobacco River flowing directly through uh, the Tobacco River Dam. Probably only about 50 feet in altitude now. We'll swing over here and take a look at all the scaffolding that's in place. A few of these forms and bulkheads. Uh, also at the end of this video, I know I mentioned that I will probably be getting some of the video from on site when I wasn't there filming, when they were actually going ahead and adding concrete uh, to these forms. I was able to get some of that, so that will be its own separate video. So make sure you go ahead and watch that. Hopefully I will be able to release that video at the same time that this one is released. So pretty interesting. They used a one yard concrete bucket attached to the crane and just flew in uh, some of that concrete and then dumped it right inside of these bulkheads. At the time of me filming this voiceover, they have actually completed all of the pours on the west side retaining wall. So that is that work over there is just completely done now. And on Monday, hopefully I'll be out there again on Monday to film. They're going to be removing the coffer dam from directly in front of that spillway one. So after that is removed, water will start to flow through spillway one again, and then they will go ahead and transfer the job site over here to the east side retaining wall, right where the drone is facing right now. They will go ahead, break away the rest of that spillway and pour a new 18 inch retaining wall, just like they did on the west side over here. So that will be pretty cool. Hopefully I'll be able to get out there and watch McNally uh, fly that coffer dam out of there. Probably gonna have some divers in the water from what I'm being told. I'm grinding off a few of the bolts that are securing that dam into place right now. And then they should be able to fly that out of there. So again, now we're kind of facing towards the east. I'm just kind of panning the camera around to facing towards the south and looking down the Tobacco River. If you follow this river down probably about a mile, it does link back up at the confluence with the Tidbawassee River. Um, that is just north of the Curtis Road Bridge. So another one of my favorite shots here is starting from directly behind the dam, a couple hundred feet away, and then flying directly up behind the dam, nice and low. You can see the water flowing over the top of the sill. Um, wasn't much water flowing over here. That's probably why they're actually doing this construction right now, so that they only have uh, water flowing through one spillway. If this was in our high flow period of during the springtime when we have all of our snow melt occur, and this would probably be a little bit harder to be doing this construction. So that is why they want the east side retaining wall uh, poured and done by the springtime as well. I do also have some great news down at Sanford Dam. Uh, work will be starting there very, very soon. Uh, a lot of the construction and interim repairs and a lot of the live cameras down there, both live cameras that I have, both the one in the park as well as the one to the north of Sanford Dam, are quite a ways from the dam, so it's a little bit hard to see. I do have permission to move one of those live cameras to being located on the powerhouse of Sanford Dam now, though. So that will have an awesome view overlooking the construction for the next couple of years. When they go ahead in the next maybe three years, uh, they might be doing some work on that powerhouse, so I may need to move it at that time. Um, but until then, make sure you're checking out that Sanford live camera. We'll probably be down for maybe a week or two uh, before I get it relocated and hooked up in that location. But once it is, you have a great sight over the top of Sanford Dam in that entire area. With this dam, though, we're still at the Tobacco River Dam uh, facing towards the north again. I'm going to fly directly over the catwalk here uh, that is spanning the Tobacco River Dam and start tilting the camera on the drone down and we'll look at an aerial view of pore number seven that they were going ahead and tying into place all that rebar over there. 
Once they have the rebar tied into place and secured, then they can go ahead, remove the scaffolding in front of this, and then they can fly in that front bulkhead to seal it up, and then they're ready for uh, pouring. So they can go ahead, fly in some of that concrete and actually pour this. So great shot looking directly down on top of the job site. You can see that front cofferdam, like I said, that will be removed on Monday and hopefully I'll be able to get out there on Monday to see that being flown out before they start work on the east side. I just got to the top of the steps, did my workout for the day, actually filmed time-lapse walking up those. We'll see how that turns out. But yeah, now up here at the top of the earthen embankment here on the Tobacco River Dam, you can take a look out here to the north. This is the Tobacco River, and this goes all the way up to Beaverton, Beaverton Dam, and then further to the north is Chapel Dam, if you keep following that up there. So, you know a lot of people have been asking uh, what equipment I use. I always post the equipment that I'm using in the description down below. And there's also links to Amazon, their Amazon affiliate links. If you go ahead and you click those links in the description and buy anything from Amazon, it doesn't even need to be the item that I'm linked to. Amazon will actually kick back a small portion of money to the YouTube channel. So if you're buying stuff from Amazon anyways, go ahead and do that. And for those of you that have been doing that, uh, thank you so much. It's definitely really helping and I really appreciate it. So now up here at the top, we can see the scaffolding that's in place right here. And hold the GoPro over and we can actually see uh, pour number seven, the rebar that they're tying in place right now. And then way over there in the background, spillway three, where that water is currently flowing through right now. We have the M30 bridge here. This is a temporary causeway bridge. This bridge is known as a Bailey type bridge. Um, it's temporary because in the coming years there will be a permanent uh, solution put in place, but this temporary option was just the quickest and the cheapest to get traffic restored across this as soon as they could. So traffic is flowing really well right now. Strikers Marinas back here in the background gate is locked right now so i can't go across the catwalk and give you that view but we will be able to see that from the drone let's head on over to the other side of the dam now also uh, this week i will be going to film at the stone quarry where all this riprap is mined out of so that will be exciting make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss that video i'm going to be going out there on a day that they're actually blasting so i'll be able to send the drone up in the air maybe put some uh GoPros a little bit closer to the blast zone and get some really cool footage but yeah can't wait to do that can't wait to get out there and film that I know I repeat myself a lot on these videos and that's mainly because when I'm filming at Edenville and the Tobacco River Dam I'm filming on the exact same day so you hear a little bit of the same information but for those of you that don't watch every video uh, you're not missing it but for those of you that are watching every video just bear with me I get to the new information again just kind of gonna stand against this wall and be able to show you, you guys pour number six down here. So you can see that front bulkhead in place. Looks like they're cutting a little bit of that rebar, just kind of making the final touches before they're gonna go ahead and pour this tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to get some of that uh, video that gets provided to me of them actually pouring here on site because I won't be able to get out here tomorrow when that is happening. If so, I'll include it in this video or I'll make it its own separate video and release it at some point. But yeah, great work here happening at the Tobacco River Dam. Really exciting to see this work happening. It's not every day that dams are being rebuilt. Most of them are being torn down in the US right now. So being able to watch all of these dams being rebuilt is pretty exciting. I'm gonna head back now, throw the drone up in the air and get a little bit of that aerial footage. We're back in front of the dam now, uh, looking at the job site from about 50 feet in altitude, facing towards the southwest. I'm gonna go ahead, drop altitude a little bit lower here, and then I'll start panning the camera around to take a look at the spillway number three. You can kind of see spillway number two there, has the stop log still lowered into place. I'm guessing that those will still remain in place while they go ahead and work on the east side retaining wall. 
and that water will start to flow through this spillway right here, so spillway number one, and then they can go ahead and work on that spillway number three. I'm not sure how many of the people watching my channel caught it, but make sure you're going out and watching the Delta College uh, breached number two video. It was a great follow-up to breach number one. They actually had a short interview uh, with me included in there, but I thought it was even better than the first breach video covering a lot of the details, some of the history as to what happened here at the dams uh, leading up to the failures and what is currently ongoing here with a little bit of the rebuilding efforts. I did post the link to it on the community tab if you want to go ahead and find it there. Uh, also, you can probably search Delta College Public Media on YouTube and find it there. But go ahead and tell me what you think of it in the comments down below. I think they did a really great job with it. Um, definitely enjoyed telling my side of the story and why I'm continuing to follow this. And I've said it many times, but I'll continue to say it again. I will be following this story until the dams are rebuilt. We got a long path ahead. Some of these might be five to six years before we have water uh, filling up Sanford and Wixom Lake once again. Um, it's going to be a long story, but it's definitely going to be worth it. And I will be here for the entire ride uh, telling the and showing you guys uh, the actual rebuilding of these dams. Again, we're probably about 100 feet in altitude with the drone. I'm going to do a quick pullback shot all the way up to 400 feet in altitude, and we'll be able to take in a little bit more of the landscape. They've also started to do some erosion control over here on the left side of the screen. I'll point it out when we get up a little bit higher. It's on the other side of the Bailey Bridge, the M30 temporary bridge. Uh, you're able to see that erosion control work from the live camera as well. It's directly in front of Strikers Marina on the earthen embankment. We can see the entire job site up here at 400 feet in altitude now. Just start to see a little bit of those fall colors starting to peek out in our uh, Michigan trees. They are in full swing now though, so when I'm back out there again filming on Monday, you'll be able to see and enjoy a lot of our fall colors. But yeah, right here that erosion control effort is happening right up at the top of the screen on that earthen embankment where you can see some of that erosion happening up there. I'll probably film a little bit of that work that when I'm out there again on Monday as well, include that in the next uh, either Tobacco River update or the Edenville update. You know, that area is kind of directly between both of the dams, um, but we are directly over top of the Tobacco River Dam up at 400 feet in altitude. You can see just how tall that crane is reaching into the sky. And again, directly behind the dam, we'll do a quick flyover up here and drop in altitude and come directly over the top of the dam. I cannot say it enough how great of work Fisher Contracting, as well as Spicer Engineering, and there is a ton of other people that I can't even begin to mention that is working on the rebuilding efforts of these dams, but everyone involved is just doing a terrific job. Uh, I can't believe that the, the rebuild is happening this fast. They are following uh, right in line with the Four Lakes Task Force timeline. Again, Four Lakes Task Force did update and provide a new webinar of the uh, building and the construction updates. I will be including that in a future uh, video kind of showing what the plans are here at the Tobacco River Dam, Edenville Dam, and Sanford Dam, as well as up there on Secord and Smallwood Dam. It takes me a little bit longer to get up to Secord and Smallwood. It's a little bit further drive for me, um, but I will continue to get up there every now and then in film updates. The Secord Dam camera almost has enough funds raised for me to install a live camera up there as well. So make sure you're checking that out if you want to go ahead and support that. I believe we're probably less than $1,000 that is needed uh, to get that live camera up and running. And I really don't want to have to go out there in the middle of winter and climb up a pole to go ahead and install that. So hopefully we raise the funds to be able to do that soon. If you've watched this video this long, you're definitely enjoying the content. So make sure you go down below, hit that like button, leave any questions or comments you have down below as well, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps a ton and I thank everyone for helping me. You're just continuing to tell the story here and keep me motivated to stick with this. You know, I, I'm doing this, this is a hobby for me, and I'm going to keep following the story and documenting this for history so that we don't lose this milestone events that are occurring here in mid-Michigan. So if you would like to help me, again, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and until the next one, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. 
Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.